to my beauty's big sister channel today i am testing my one of my favorite brands ever charlotte tilbury there are two new products uh, that have just landed in the pillow talk range so i'm going to be giving these a whirl and i'm following charlotte tilbury's makeup tutorial it's definitely different to how i normally apply my makeup so if you want to see how i got this very glowy rosy look then just keep on watching okay so just before we get into the pillow tool products i'm gonna prep my skin and i'm just gonna show you what i love to use as charlotte tilbury so as you can see there's hardly any of this left right now and um, that's the charlotte tilbury magic cream this is it is magic basically if you haven't seen my video on this I will leave a link up here but just to let you guys know that I am still loving this cream so much and I don't think I'll ever stop loving it to be honest just so good and it makes applying makeup like a dream makeup applies so gorgeous over the top of it and if you have got sensitive skin like me then it doesn't react with me at all it's very very gentle formula um, so yeah, you can see it just like kind of reignites the skin. If you did watch my video on the flawless filter, just let you guys know I am still loving this. Honestly, I wear this on its own a lot during the week. If I'm at home, I will normally just wear this on its own, and it just gives you such a gorgeous, nice glow. So I just literally pop it all over. And I do love wearing it under my foundation. Blend that in the damp beauty blender. Like how gorgeous is that? Do you know what I really want to try from Charlotte Tilbury? It's the collagen lip bath. I think I need to get that. Oh, and the new concealer. That looks so good. If there are any Charlotte Tilbury products that you want me to test in a video, then let me know in the comments glow is real with this product so i normally do just put a little bit of powder on top just to mattify it um, and decrease the shine in these areas um, if i'm leaving it on its own but because i'm putting the foundation on top i am just going to leave it like this is like a gorgeous primer to kind of shine through the foundation okay so i'm gonna finish my base and i'll be back base is done i've tried to like fluff up my eyebrows a little bit um, more than what I normally do to try and get this kind of a look, but I just don't have good enough eyebrows like that. <laughs> the first product I'm gonna try is this. So this is the Pillow Talk Luxury Eyeshadow Palette. This is what it looks like. So all of Charlotte Tilbury's eyeshadow palettes look like this. And then you've got the four shades inside. I love how gorgeous and rosy these shades are. Um, I mean, for me, I when I first looked at this palette, I presumed that this shade right here, the lighter shade, would be a matte shade, but it's actually a shimmer. So we have two shimmers and we have two mattes. Really gorgeous, warm shades. So this one, is more of like your champagne kind of gold. This one is beautiful, really reminds me of the Pillow Talk lipstick, very rosy nude. Um, then this one is a little bit more pigmented, that is beautiful. This is more of a creamy shimmer, but this is more of an intense, you know when you can see the kind of particles in it. And that is a very gorgeous rose gold. And then this, which is like a warm toasted brown. Just by dipping my fingers into them then, I can see that they are super, super soft and creamy. Okay, so these are the shades that we've got. They look really, really nice. I mean, I didn't really go massively into the, the swatching because I don't want to ruin my palette, but they are really gorgeous tones. So the first thing Charlotte is doing is going into this shade right here to primer lids. Now, I have never, ever, ever popped a shimmer eyeshadow as a base to my eye look like if i always put a matte so this this is new for me i'm i'm confused how this is gonna work so she literally just pops it all over it's really pretty very very subtle shimmer there that's really cute this might be a game changer then she takes a more detailed brush like this. These are all iconic brushes that I'm using. She's just popping that in the inner corner here. I am living for that in the inner corner. So this palette is 39 pounds. I mean, that is a lot for four shades. Like that, 
is a lot of money but that's how much charlotte tilbury is and to be honest i know that her products are not cheap but i get sent a lot of makeup i don't need to really go out and buy anything but i go out and buy charlotte tilbury because it's that good like it's definitely worth the money oh okay and we're taking it on the lower lash line okay this is so different to what i normally do Okay, how does she look that pretty with one shade and no mascara? Such a trend to really illuminate the inner corner at the minute. Like, a little pop right there. It'd be really nice as a highlighter also. Like, you could definitely double this up. Going into that second shade. Okay, she's putting that really high to the brow bone. Okay. I don't have a shade like this in my collection. I know that sounds crazy because it's just like a nude, but... This is like a blush nude. It, it literally is. This is the shade of the Billa Talk lipstick. Just going really, really lightly with my brush because that's what Charlotte looks like she's doing. Like literally hardly even touching the skin right now to blend this out. Okay, one thing I will say is that the shades are blending out like, wow. I think one thing I have learned over the time is just to really put the tiniest bit on your brush and build it up slowly, like that's literally the best way to do it because overloading your brush can be the, the worst thing you can do. And then again, we're going underneath the eye, literally just on top of that shimmer. Isn't it crazy just how like applying shades in a different way, like I'm loving this. Okay, what are we doing next, Charlotte? <laughs> okay, we're literally just building this up. She goes so lightly with her brush. Okay, but more into the crease this time. So in with that deeper shade. It looks like she's just using the same brush for all of these. So I'm taking a lead on that one. Just deepening things up. Adding the tiniest bit of shadow. And I'm going over the top of what I've already done. But you can see the difference in the eyes. Like it's you can really see the definition of the shades. What is your favourite product in Charlotte Tilbury? Let me know in the comments. I think probably the, the Flawless Filter because I just use that all of the time. But, oh, I don't know. I couldn't decide. And then again, just layering that up underneath. I think for a wedding, this palette would just be, oh, stunning. Right, last step. Last step for the eye. Oh, okay. We're, we're doing mascara. Huh? We haven't even got to the full... <laughs> Full step of the eye. It's just typical. I can't find my legendary lashes mascara anywhere, so I can't use that. But we are putting on the mascara now before we finish the eye look. Like, what? This is the Benefit, their real mascara, which I do love. I do love that legendary lashes. It's just gone walkies it's in this room somewhere but i'm just unsure where right now <laughs> now i feel like me when i've got my mascara on like that's literally one thing i couldn't live without is mascara does anyone get these annoying eyelashes that just grow in different directions like babe what are you doing it's so annoying it just like sticks out and all the and where are my eyelash curlers that's what i need what are we doing Last step, with the fingers. We're going in with the fingers all over the eye, okay? In with this shade. <gasps> Can you see the difference? I'm gonna put it all on this eye and then you can see the difference when I close my eye. That is pretty. Okay, can you see the difference between my eyes? Like, the shimmer is real. Okay, I'm on board with this. I love how she just uses her fingers as well, like, so easy. Really, really liking the finish of them shadows. I think that's beautiful. Okay, now we're going on to Filmstar Bronze and Glow. I love this palette. This palette is so old now, like, I've had this for so long. Whatever lighting Charlotte Tilbury has in her studio, like, can I just have? <laughs> Okay, then she's getting a clean eyeshadow brush and popping that around the nose. Then we're going into that highlight. I mean, I know I already love this. Look at that. It just like, oh, makes your skin glow. She's using a lot fluffier brush than me. Maybe I should be doing that. <laughs> that is a big brush. 
All right, smaller brush for down the nose, highlighting here and then underneath that brow bone. I feel like I'm glowing. Now we're going on to lips. Instead of me using the Pillow Talk Lip Liner lipstick, I feel like you've seen me use that a lot. So I'm gonna take my new favorite one, which is Sunset Lover. This is the latest one I bought from Charlotte Tilbury and it's just such a gorgeous, like corally peach. And I feel like it does really go with this eye look as well. Like how beautiful is that? I just love the consistency of Charlotte Tilbury lipsticks. It's so, so beautiful. Okay, so we've switched things up a little bit with a with a peachy lip. Um, but now we're gonna go in to the Cheek to Chic, love this name, Swish and Glow Blusher. This looks beautiful. I haven't tried one of her blushes before, so this is definitely new for me. So you've got this beautiful pillow tilt shade around the eye outside, and then you've got a really gorgeous highlight there. So I am a little bit confused why we use the highlight in the other palette, because there's a highlight in here, but I'm, I'm sure we, we'll find out in a minute. <laughs> Let's use my little hula one. All right, so we're going around the outside of this, like just to pick up that shade there. And we're Normally I just concentrate on this area right here and she's dusting it like towards the hair. And then we're going up as well. Okay, it does just like bring your look to life. Oh, look at the difference. Oh, I'm not normally like a blush kind of gal, but this is really, really gorgeous. It's like a rose pink. Okay, maybe I should stop with blush. <laughs> I think that might be enough. And then we're going into the beautiful middle part here. Just going over them cheeks. This is what I find with a lot of makeup artists. It's all about like layering products. And even though you might think, why have I literally gone on top with so many different powders? You can see the difference. Like my makeup definitely doesn't normally look like this. I feel like I look so glowy. Have I got the Charlotte Tilbury look? <laughs> Okay, so beauties, this is my Charlotte Tilbury Pillow Talk look with obviously a different lip. I do love, love, love this lip. I've been wearing this lip pretty much all summer. The blush is £30, which I actually don't think is too bad. Um, you've got a lot of product in there and it's kind of like a two-in-one because you have got your blusher and your highlighter. But this shade, I don't have a blusher like this in my collection and I've got a lot of makeup. So for me, this is kind of revolutionary because it's a blush that I really, really like. It's a very rosy, fresh look. It's kind of like that English rose. That's what it reminds me of. Can we just appreciate the glow? I definitely do think that that is worth the coin. Um, and then for this palette, honestly, these together, yes, 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 yes. This topper right here, that is amazing. Like literally amazing. So happy. And this was a risk because I'm going to a huge office in about 15 minutes. I need to leave and get changed. Um, and I'm gonna be doing a big talk on beauty. So this was a really big risk doing this makeup tutorial about 15 minutes before I need to leave. But luckily, I'm in love with it. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Let me know what your favorite Charlotte Tilbury products are. I mean, I feel like I could literally just go to Charlotte Tilbury and just buy everything. Like I could happily have my whole makeup bag, Charlotte Tilbury. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. Please, please do like below and subscribe if you haven't already. Let me know what you guys have been up to and I will see you in my next video. Bye.